Hello everyone, um, my name is Ulyan Vasilev. I'm the Harbor Community Manager and I'm also contributing. Since I'm ambassador, I work at SUSE as a technology advocate. Um, my aim today is to show a little bit about Harbor and SBOM. So, who of you know what the SBOM is? Right, okay, I'm in the wrong room then. Um, so, software bureau materials is not a new concept. It was used in manufacturing for long, long years. It was recently introduced in software. So pretty much it's a list of all your components um, of the things that you're gonna ship. For example, let's talk about container image or OCI artifact. In other words, um, what I've tried to <laughs> explain as Matteo Bianchi is doing to, grand to his grandma, um, the SBOM is like uh, the list that you get when you buy something from Ikea, for example. When you buy uh, furniture, you have all the components, their serial numbers, their amount, so everything is listed what you have in that box. So what this bomb is and um, where it helps, it helps in various areas like the security and vulnerability management. If you have a list of all your components, it's super easy to find out if you have a vulnerable one or uh, if you have to mitigate some of that. Uh, helps out with software supply chain uh, in trust and tra transparency and trust. So pretty much you are when you ship something, you say what you ship and people can maybe trust you. Uh, also can help with compliance and license management. So compliance in terms of security and license management. Uh, for example, some orgs are super ticky on uh, running some software that are some different softwares that are uh, license compliant. So SBOM in Harbor. We've been using um, Trivi for a long time and we're collaborating with Trivi um, for few years. Trivi is the default integration service for Harbor. And Trivi was having that issue, uh, that feature that can do SBOM for you, but it's also, it was only on the CLI. And now we have that in Harbor. So um, how that works, you push your image in Harbor and you can create SBOM with single click or you can set up your Harbor to do that automatically for you. So it's the same way how you do the integration services. So you go on the administration site of the Harbor and you say, please create SBOM for every new push that I have. So when, when you push new image, all that's automatically uh, started. We decided to use the SPDX format. Um, they were asking from the community uh, for Cyclone DX. If some of you is one of these folks, Please come and talk to us. Maybe we can collaborate on that so we can have a different format. Um, how you can consume the SBOM that Harbor is doing, uh, is providing, is downloadable through the UI, of course, but you also can download through our API. Super short video of uh, the, if that loads, that's not gonna load. <gasps> no, ah, I not, I'm sorry. Can I try here? It was working, I promise. All right, so um, that's, uh, I hope you can see that. Uh, I've practically uh, uploaded the latest Nginx um, of the time of recording, that was like a week ago. Um, I'm just pushing to Harbor. Um, so I'm gonna create the security scanning and the SBOM. That will take a while. And as you can see, the, the latest Nginx has some vulnerabilities right out, out of the box without doing some anything, right? So let's dig in a little bit to that. Um, to do that, you have to go to uh, over here. That's the, the actual tag, or that's the SHA for, for the latest in that, in that case. When you, when you open that, you'll see on the bottom over here, oops, sorry. You see the additions, you have the vulnerabilities and SBOM and build history, that's in case you have more than one, for some reason, more than one builds of that particular tag. Uh, so we have few criticals and some highs. So let's take a look, for example, the first one, the, the Zilip 1G, I think. It's a critical, you can browse the SBOM from the UI like this. It's not very, um, how to say, verbose. It has some information, but you can find more if you download the, the actual ice bomb um, from, from Harbor. Uh, you can consume it somewhere away. Is, is that little button over there, download ice bomb. So with that, thank you and reach out to us. Um, how? Uh, we have a Slack, we have mailing list that QR code gonna lead you to goharbor.io slash community. You can find all the 
links for how to join us. Uh, we have a maintainer track tomorrow. Uh, some of the core maintainers are just in front of me. Uh, and we're going to do a project pavilion at the 9A in the PM shift. So you can find us there. Come and talk to us. Thank you. Thank you.